it's time to create so this is day three so you should already have a file saved so we're just gonna go ahead and go file open recent and we're gonna open up our coffee cup in object mode you'll see that we have a cup and we have a handle and we have joined these two things together you can tell that they're joined because they're both highlighted orange if you have not joined them together just hold shift click on this and click on this go to object and choose join now that we've joined them together we can go to edit mode and we can connect the handle to the cup I'll turn on face select so I can select the faces that I, I want to delete on the cup so I can join the handle to that part of the cup. So I'm holding shift and I click on these four faces and I'll press X to delete. We would like to delete the faces and now we have a spot in our cup where we can join our handle. So now I want to change it to edge select and we're going to join these edges. Click on the edge you'd like to join, hold shift, select this edge and this edge. And then to join them, press F to fill and it will create a face. Hold shift, select these three edges and press F. Orbit, choose that edge hold shift, press that one, and press F to fill. Choose that edge, hold shift, that edge and that edge, F to fill. And you can see we've connected our handle to our cup. Okay, so now I have to do the bottom. Hold shift, F to fill, that one, that one, and that one, not that one, F to fill, hold shift, that one and that one, F to fill, that one, hold shift, that one and that one, F to fill. Congratulations, you now have a full coffee cup with a handle. Now it's time to create the inside of the cup. So we need to select this entire ring all the way around the cup. And we know that if we hold Alt, A-L-T on our keyboard, we can select an entire ring or a loop. So hold Alt, and let's select this ring here. We're going to extrude. So we can use the extrude tool over here, or we can just press E on our keyboards. And we want to extrude it toward the center of the cup, so we're just going to press S to scale come in this way a little bit. Click to confirm. Now this next part is going to be easier if you can see through it so let's change it back to wireframe view and we're going to extrude but we want to extrude it straight. Right now if I just pull my mouse I'm extruding it and it's kind of going wonky on me so I can press Z and it'll lock it so it's nice and straight. Okay, so I'm going to go just about there and then I'm going to scale it outward to match the geometry of the cup. So we're going to do this a few times. E to extrude, Z to lock it on the Z axis, click and scale it out to match the cup. E to extrude, Z to lock it, I'll go about there, scale, now it's going to start scaling inward, E to extrude. Z to lock it and then scale it inward a little bit. Now once you get to the bottom you want to kind of fill in the bottom of the cup so we're going to merge these vertices together so if you right click you can go down where it says merge alright so we need to merge the vertices in the middle. Oops I clicked on something else and now I lost the ring so again all you have to do is hold alt ALT and just make sure you get the right one and there it is. So I want to merge these in the middle so I can extrude them and scale them and come in like this just look like we did before but then we want to merge these so they join together so we can go mesh and then choose merge
and choose at center. Boop. We have completed the inside of the cup. If you'd like to take a look and see what it looks like, go ahead and click on solid mode. And that's looking pretty darn cool. I would drink you out of that cup. All right, so good luck today, and we will continue tomorrow. Setting up our lighting and rendering and make it look like a real coffee cup.